Hey friends, in the previous video we had seen how we can reset the password by using a CSV file for multiple accounts. In the CSV file we just provided a user list and the password which will be assigned to all those user accounts and this is a CSV sample file which I used for resetting the password for these all users. But suppose if you require to to provide a password, a random password for all accounts instead of uh, providing a known password because this is something like security issues when you are just uh, resetting the password and you are knowing the password so as, a, as an administrator you must, uh, you must not aware about the password which you are going to assign to the end user so there is in a way which you can use either just provide a method to change the password on the next logon or you can use a random password for all those accounts so first on the first logon user will use the random password that will be the stronger as compared to this here we had just provided a known password for these accounts so so you can use this powershell script for creating a random password for all bulk users in your active directory so I am just using import dash module space active directory this is just calling active directory in this powershell script I always suggest you to, to run or execute the powershell active directory related powershell script only on the domain members or domain controller if you have uh, administrative rights then only you can execute these powershell scripts for managing your active directory infrastructure so I'm just calling a variable user list and in this user list uh, I'm using a command get dash content c colon ad slash script dash user list dot txt this is a path uh, where I just created a txt file and in this txt file I provided a list of user to whom we just want to change the password a random password so uh, I will show you how you can create the txt file so just go on this path and uh, open the user list here is a user list only you need to provide a user list not the password uh, which you are going to assign so there is a difference between these two csv these two files in the first csv file i provided a username and their password but in this value I, this uh, this txt file i just only provided the list of user to whom we are going to reset the password so here i'm using a for each loop and i'm calling user variable and user is just calling uh, calling it inside the user list and uh, and further it will use the values of uh, the user list uh, txt file and uh, this txt file is called inside the user list variable so this is the same and in this variable it is just calling the txt file it is just storing the value from this path now moving forward this is the variable dollar password and in this dollar password i am using a get random command and the count will be 10 it means the password value will be 10 number of character will be 10 and uh, it will just call for each object a new password convert to secure string and password as plain text and force this is similar like how we did in the previous video for resetting the password now set ad account password user new password and new password reset so it is just resetting the password set identity uh, ad user identity user change password at logon value is true it means if you have just provided a password new password to the end user so once end user will enter their password which you have provided then it will prompt to change the password so on the first logon it will ask to change the password then it will then it can only be proceeded further inside the machine so this is the method that that is used to provide the change password at next logon features for the users now a write host user password so 
uh, once password has been changed so you will get the username and the password value which is changed suppose you have uh, provided 10 characters so it's, it's a random password will be visible over here in this script once it will be executed and it will show this is the username and this is the new password for this user so I'm just going to execute this uh, uh, PowerShell script now you can see this is the test dot user and this is the password this is something random I am not aware about this password so the random password has been generated for this account so I always recommend you to use this method only for resetting the passwords inside Active Directory infrastructure to make a secure infra uh, secure Active Directory domain and uh, thank you for watching this video